welcome to ABC Interactive English. That is Karen, and that is Henry.、Mm -hmm. And today we are looking at Part B of our ABC talk, and it's still about taking the MRT. And today is all about finding your way around. And the vocabulary words are women's room. Women's room. Is there a women's room on the third floor? Platform. Platform. I'll be waiting for you on the platform. Considerate, considerate. Eric's mom hopes he can be more considerate of others. Dirty, dirty. The window is so dirty that you can't see through it. Mm-hmm. Karen, which word do you use when you you know want to go to number one or number two? Well, you could say that, but you never tell people. Say, "Hey, where do I go? Number one or number two?" Well, you can't say that. I would usually ask, "Hey, where's the restroom or where's the washroom?" Oh, okay. How about you? Uh, where's the toilet? No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I usually say restroom, but in Taiwan, you read a lot of signs that says WC. What does WC stand for? It stands for water closet, which is the、um, UK way of saying restroom. Ah,、of、so、course. that's why we see W C everywhere. Yes, of course. You could also say, like in our vocabulary words, women's room, women's room, or men's room. Right?、Mm -hmm. That is also a polite and nice way of saying it. Just make sure that you don't say, "Where is the toilet?" <laughs> that is a little rude. I mean, it's really straightforward, but、yeah. it's a little rude. Okay.、Mm -hmm. And the question for today is, what do they need to do now? What do they need to do now? Lori just came out of the women's room at Dodge Station. I'm ready. Which platform should we be on? We need to go toward Taipei Zoo, so we should go to platform two. Great. Then what exit should we take? I have a station map on my phone. Hmm. Exit two would be the best one. Everything's figured out then. We just need to wait for the train to come. I brought snacks. Do you want some? We can't eat those here. Why not? Is it against the rules? Yes, it isn't considerate to other passengers, and it makes the station dirty. Explanation one. Hi, I'm Mike. I'm Mary. And we have reached part B of our ABC Talk Unit. And for all three parts of the dialogues for this month, we are taking the MRT to see a softball game with friends Lori and Jason. Yesterday, their trip got off to a bit of a bumpy start because Lori forgot her easy card at home. But after borrowing some change from Jason, she was able to buy herself a single journey ticket, and off they went. Their destination and the location of the softball game was Mingda Station. So let's start reading today's dialogue to see how they are getting on. The title for today is Part B. Finding your way around, and as we begin reading today, a short sentence helps to set up the action. It reads, "Lori just came out of the women's room at Dadja Station." Okay, so Dadja must be where they are leaving from. Let's take a very quick break here to learn more about our first new vocabulary word, and that would be women's room. Women's room. Women's room. This is a noun. The women's room is another word for the women's bathroom. It will usually have a sign showing a lady's head or the body of a woman in a skirt, or maybe just the word "woman." If you're a lady that needs to freshen up, go to the women's room. I'll be over in the men's room. For example, there was a short line of women waiting to use the women's room. 有一些女生在排队等上女厕 Women's room. Women's room， 这是一个名词，但就字面上来看呢、啊、，women's room 指的是女士们的房间。那什么地方是专属于女士，只有女生可以用呢？没错，就是女厕啦。是不是一个很优雅的说法呢？女同学们如果在和别人在一起的时候，不好意思直接说你想去厕所上厕所，那你就可以这样子说 ：Excuse me, I have to go to the women's room。不好意思 ，Excuse me, I have to go to the women's room。不好意思，我要去一下女厕。听起来有没有就比较不直接一点？有没有比较优雅一点？
。那如果你想询问人家厕所在哪里，同样也可以这样子说哟。Could you tell me where the women's room is? Could you tell me where the women's room is? 你可以喊我说女厕在哪里吗？嗯，这样感觉好像就蛮有气质的。那我们刚刚对话一开始就是说到 ，Laurie 刚从节日女厕走出来。So now that Laurie has taken care of that particular business, she begins our dialogue by saying, "I'm ready." And then she asks Jason, "Which platform should we be on?" Hmm. And the word platform is our second new word for today. Platform. Platform. This is a noun. The platform is what we call the raised area in a train or MRT station where people stand to wait for and get on or off a train. Since trains ride on big wheels above the ground, the platform is usually a meter or so high. When the train stops, we step off the platform and enter the train. Be careful, though, to not stand too close to the edge of the platform. Sometimes the trains can pull in quite quickly. For example, we put our suitcases down on the platform and waited for the train to arrive. We put our suitcases down on the platform and waited for the train to arrive. Platform. Platform, 月台是一个名词。我们去搭捷运啊，或是火车啊，都一定会经过月台，因为我们就是要在月台上等车。那有搭过火车的同学们就会知道，不同的车啊，要去不同的月台等候哦。比如 ，Your train leaves from platform one, so you should go and wait there. Your train leaves from platform one, so you should go and wait there. 你的车是从一号月台发车，所以你应该要去那里等哦。同学们，下次搭火车可以看一下。那常常在火车站或是捷运站等车的时候，你可能有听过这种广播 ：Please do not sit on the platform. Please do not sit on the platform. 请勿坐在月台上，因为搭车等车的人潮众多，所以如果大家都坐着等车，就会让车站里的人很难行走。那在对话里啊，从女厕出来的 Laurie 就问 Jason 说：“哎，他们要去哪一个月台等车啊 ？”So Laurie doesn't know which platform they should be looking for, but hopefully Jason does. Hmm, he sure does. Jason is on top of things. He probably checked it out while Lori was in the women's room. He tells her we need to go toward Taipei Zoo, so we should go to platform two. Great, Jason has probably just been keeping his eyes open and reading all of the signs. That's the best way to avoid getting lost in the MRT. That's right. Lori is glad to hear that Jason knows where to go, so she says, "Great," and then asks him, "Then what exit should we take?" In other words, once we get to Mingde Station, what exit from the MRT station will bring us closest to where the softball game will be?、Mm, and we'll get an answer to that all-important question just as soon as we come back from this quick break. Welcome to Love Is Just Like Talking. We are the best. J and Yo Yo, Jimmy. Okay. <笑>好，办理退税手续呢。就算你到了这个服务柜台，真有很多的细节要注意啊！真的，今天我们就来教大家这些申请退税的细节。反正你要先把护照准备好，一定要，因为他会跟你说 ，May I have your passport, please? May I have your passport, please? 对，那接下来就要填。好填这个退税申请单，是的啊，你就可以跟他说，呃，因为你要退税申请单嘛，嗯、就可以说 ，May I have a tax refund form? May I have a tax refund form?、Oh, may I have a tax refund form?、嗯、这样，对你不要以为不用写，就直接说退税不行，一定要填哦。对，退税，退税，退税是什么？好，但是他会<笑>他会跟你讲了，叫 Please fill out this tax refund form. 哎，他一直想那个退税的柜台是女生啊。Please fill out this Tax refund form. Please fill out this tax refund form. 填这个哈，填一下退税表格。Fill out 就是填写这样。可以拿回多少钱 ？How much of a refund will I get? How much of a refund will I get? 你听懂没有呢？ Re、refund 是可数名词哈，所以 How much of a refund will I get? 真的，我然后他们就问你，哎，你是要支票还是现金退税？ Okay. 你看是不是真的很棒？真的。Would you like to receive a check or cash? Would you like to receive a check or 
cash。对，当然就是现金，现金最方便真的，因为马上花掉。对啊，怎么这样子？我们在叫人家花钱，不行不行不行，好。现金最好了，好，然<笑>后我们怎么说呢？就是 cash will do， cash will do，、嗯、cash will be fine， cash will be fine， 这样就好了。对，我们通常这个服务人员跟你说，你 OK 了， OK 了， you're all set， you're all set， you're all set， OK， 那我感觉处理好了，处理好了。是的，来，接下来看今天的 live action。Hi， yes， I need a test refund。May I have your passport, please? No problem. Here it is. Thank you. Uh, please fill out this tax refund form. Okay. Uh, oh, oh thank you. <laughs> um, how much of refund will I get? It will be twenty-five dollars.、Oh. Would you like to receive a check or cash? Cash will be fine. Will do. Yep. Okay, you're all set. Yes. Great. Thank you. See you. Password. Okay.、Oh, right. Explanation, Explanation two. two. Welcome back, everyone. Lori and Jason are planning their trip to see a softball game. And Lori had just asked Jason which exit to take once they reach their destination, the place that they are going to. Jason doesn't exactly know right now, but luckily he has an app for that. He tells Lori, "I have a station map on my phone." Great idea, Jason. Whenever I travel, I always download an MRT map or phone app. It can make planning trips in a strange city so much easier. And it's also a good way to avoid getting lost. Okay, back to the dialogue. As Jason looks at the map on his phone, he says, "Hmm, exit two would be the best one." So now they know, and with that final piece of the plan in place, Laurie is ready to go. She says, "Everything's figured out then." And before we continue on, let's go to Mike, who has our question of the day for us. And the question is, what do they need to do now? Laurie says. We just need to wait for the train to come. Laurie says we just need to wait for the train to come. And here in Taipei, the MRT trains come along every few minutes, so I'm sure they won't have to wait for too long. But Laurie is prepared in any case, and she says to Jason, "I brought snacks. Do you want some?" Hmm. But being an experienced MRT rider, Jason knows that eating on the MRT is a no-no. He tells Lori, "We can't eat those here." Right, but this seems to be news for Lori, and she asks him, "Why not? Is it against the rules?" And Jason says, "Yes, it isn't considerate to other passengers, and it makes the station dirty." Well, he's right about that on both points. Okay, we've almost reached the end of this dialogue, but we still have two new vocab words to look at before we finish off. The first new word is. Considerate, considerate, considerate. It's an adjective. Considerate is similar to the adjective thoughtful. A thoughtful or considerate person is kind and thinks of other people. If someone needs help or is having trouble, the considerate person might stop whatever he or she is doing to help that other person. The opposite of a considerate person might be a selfish or uncaring person. For example, it was very considerate of you to offer to help me move. 你说要帮忙我搬家，真是体贴 ，considerate, considerate， 体贴的，体谅的，是一个形容词。Considerate 其实意思和 thoughtful， 细心的，体贴的，这个形容词很像哦。表达的都是某个人想的很周到啊，很会体谅别人。和 considerate 相反意思的字，则是 selfish， 自私的。或是 uncaring， 冷漠的，心不在焉的。那什么时候我们会觉得别人很体贴、很体谅呢？例如 ，It is considerate of you to bring the umbrella for me. It is considerate of you to bring the umbrella for me. 你带雨伞过来给我，真是体贴。雨中送伞，就如同雪中送炭呐、啊。体贴这个特质啊，多多展现的话，会让身边的人都觉得很舒服、很美好哦。那再来看一个例句。We should be more considerate of other people when we are in public space. 
We should be more considerate of other people when we are in public space. 在公共场所的时候，我们都应该要更体贴他人。基本的礼仪，像是打喷嚏要捂口鼻啊，或是小声的说电话，都会让大家感到更舒适哦。And what's our final new vocabulary word, Mike?、Mm, well, the last new word for today is dirty. Dirty, dirty. This is an adjective. Something dirty is something unclean. It needs a good wash because right now, ugh, it's filthy. When we are dirty, we wash with soap in the shower or in the bathtub. We also wash our dirty dishes and dirty clothes with soap and water. Most people don't like to be dirty, and many animals agree. Cats clean themselves a lot because they don't like being dirty, but pigs. Well, let's just say that pigs don't mind being dirty at all. For example, I think it's time to wash my scooter. My pants got dirty just from sitting on it. I think it's time to wash my scooter. My pants got dirty just from sitting on it. I think it's time to wash my scooter. My pants got dirty just from sitting on it. I think it's time to wash my scooter. My pants got dirty just from sitting on it. I think it's time to wash my scooter. My pants got dirty just from sitting on it. I think it's time to wash my scooter. 有时候，如果同学们有经过公园啊，或是游乐场，有小孩子在玩的地方，你会听到小朋友的爸爸妈妈对他们说 ：“Go wash your hands, they're dirty. Go wash your hands, they're dirty. 去洗手，你的手很脏。”小朋友常常就会玩的全身脏兮兮啊，如果不洗又拿起来咬手指，嗯，就不大卫生。讲了不卫生，我还记得我以前遇过一个人，有一天他这样跟我说 ：“I should wash my dirty clothes now, or I'll run out of clothes to wear.” I should wash my dirty clothes now, or I'll run out of clothes to wear. 我要去洗我的脏衣服了，不然我要没有衣服穿了。你说这样合理吗？同学们千万不要学啊！一定要保持干净，保持卫生哦。那在对话的后半段 ，Lori 原本要拿零食出来吃，但是被 Jason 阻止了，因为监狱里禁止饮食哦。这个规定啊，是要顾虑其他乘客的感受，同时也要避免车站被弄脏。All right, we've reached the end of today's dialogue, but not at the end of this month's unit. We'll be doing that tomorrow, and we hope that you can all come back and join us for it. Take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Lori just came out of the women's room at Dodge's station. I'm ready. Which platform should we be on? We need to go toward Taipei Zoo, so we should go to platform two. Great. Then what exit should we take? I have a station map on my phone. Hmm. Exit two would be the best one. Everything's figured out then. We just need to wait for the train to come. I brought snacks. Do you want some? We can't eat those here. Why not? Is it against the rules? Yes. It isn't considerate to other passengers, and it makes the station dirty. Find one's way. 第二则是某人从某地出来的句型 Somebody comes out of place. 第三则是违反规定的介系词片语 Against the rules. 让我们从某人找到路的动词片语开始吧 Find one's way 意思是某人找到路 Find 是及物动词找到的意思。三态是 find, found, found. Way 是名词路，后方可以用 around 周遭 in 在 to 到等介系词接地点。例如 Darcy found his way to the British Museum. Darcy 找到去大英博物馆的路。接着来看下一则文法。Somebody comes out of place 意思是某人从某地出来。Come 在这里是不及物动词来的意思。三态是 come, came, come. 副词 out 是往外，合在一起 come out 就是出来，后方再用介系词 of 出自引出地点。例如 Lucy came out of the movie theater. Lucy 从电影院走出来。接着来看下一则文法。Against the rules 意思是违反规定。Against 是介系词违反 ，rule 是名词规定规则。注意这里要用复数型的 rules。例如 ，goaltending is against the rules of basketball. 干扰投篮违反篮球规定。
。以上就是今天的三则文法，全民说英语，我们下次见喽。A sentence a day. Hello, welcome to a sentence a day with me, Henry. 其实借来借去最怕的就是什么？就是借钱，对，这钱会让大家很为难，有点尴尬。那如果呢，最好的方法，而且最容易表达你诚意的方法呢，就是把利息算在里头，这样人家觉得说，哎，我钱借给你，跟白菜银行一样，还是可以升利息，对不对 ？And the sentence for day day is, here's what I borrowed plus interest. 这是连本带利还你的钱。This is obviously the best way. The, the best way to return the favor when you're borrowing money from somebody is always difficult to borrow money. But if you return the money with interest, then it will make everything a lot more pleasant. People, people, because whoever that lends you the money could say, "Hey, this is just like keeping it in my bank. I even get an interest out of it." So it's actually a very good idea. The sentence for today is: "Here's what I borrowed plus interest." What a nice gesture! Thank you. See you next time. Bye bye. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny， 又到我们一分钟的单元喽。那我们今天同样在 ABC Talk 学到了四个单字，一样用一分钟的时间帮大家复习一下。同学们，您都准备好没？一分钟计时。开始，好，第一个单词很简单，女厕就是女生的厕所，女生去用的空间，所以叫做 women's room， women's room。Walk straight down the hall and you'll see the women's room on your left。沿着走廊直直走，滴滴滴，你就会看到左边，就看到女厕在左边了。好，第二个单词是月台，它也可以指讲台哦。那月台怎么说呢？叫做 platform， platform。Our train will depart from platform two. 我们的火车是从第二月台出发的。第三个单词好长哦，它叫做体贴的、体谅的。这个字蛮长的，怎么说呢？叫做 considerate。Considerate, 它是形容词。It was very considerate of you to pick me up at the airport. 你到机场来接我哦，真体贴。第四个单词是脏的，肮脏的怎么说？叫做 dirty, dirty. Take off those dirty socks and put them in the laundry basket. 把脏袜子脱下来放到洗衣篮里面。好，太好啦！我们轻轻松松就在一分钟之内顺利的复习完四个单词。同学们表现很棒哦。那回去要多多复习。今天的 A B C Interactive English 到此为止，下次。见喽，拜拜。